There's hope a new law is going to save lives out there. Danielle Rivera examines the change and how often it has been used since this law took effect. Still have to pay attention to your speed. If you weren't watching your speed before, they don't have a valid reason. They're just like, oh, I just didn't even notice I was going that fast. Troopers hope you will now. 328 people died on Utah roads last year. Colonel Michael Rapich says speed caused more of those crashes than DUI. These are horrible incidents. They're violent and they're deadly. And our troopers see that. He says it's tempting to fly down an open road, but steering around debris, wildlife, or even just another car can be impossible. Anything goes wrong at those kinds of speeds, and it's going to end in a really horrible crash. Under a new state law, a citation for driving over 100 miles per hour will cost you a lot more. For example, if you're caught going over 100 where the speed limit is 65, you'd pay a minimum of $760. The exact fines depend on how many miles per hour over the posted limit you're caught speeding. Drivers topping 105 miles per hour may also face a Class B misdemeanor for reckless driving. And just the disregard for safety. State Senator Jamie Iwamoto sponsored the new law because of what she was seeing on Utah roads. I would see these cars going crazy, you know, and I was like, wow. So it's scary. Speed-related crashes just keep happening, like the nine-car pileup in Sandy two weeks ago. It left one driver dead and hospitalized many more. So it not only killed the driver, but it also has impacted those lives forever. The law took effect May 4th, and by the end of the month, troopers cited 182 drivers for speeding over 105 miles per hour. Only 70 face a misdemeanor, though, as troopers try to educate, not just enforce the law in the first few weeks. This map shows where troopers stopped those drivers. It's happening in 80 mile per hour zones, but also in busier areas along the Wasatch Front, where 70 is the limit. Trooper Mickey Vargas sees it often. We stop people over 100 miles per hour all the time. Not only are you going to get a big ticket today. On a recent afternoon, she stopped a 17 year old driver going 97 miles per hour. But you could have very easily not made home to your family or your friends. Her message, the thrill isn't worth the risk. That's not worth it, so just think about it. Or the many lives lost. If you do decide that to, to engage in that bad driving behavior, there's going to be serious consequences. Rapich expects that drivers found guilty of reckless driving under the new law will face jail time in only the most extreme cases, but they could be on the hook for about $1,900 in fines and court fees. Mike? Hopefully it works. All right, thank you. Speeding 